Alright, what is going on guys? Top of the morning, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a minute actually, but um, I'm going to get my dents removed on my Subaru. It is currently 8 in the morning. Um, my friend Joseph that details, the one that cleans my car, he know, knows someone that does like dent removal, like door dings, and pretty big dents if it doesn't need to be repainted and stuff. So I went by, I got a quote, and we scheduled a day for today. So I'm gonna go get those removed. I just have a couple of door dings and all that, so it's not too bad. It just makes a small difference. Especially on my driver's side, there's two on each door, or one on each door. So there's two, and you, they're, they're pretty bad. You can notice them from a good distance. So I'm glad I got those removed. And then something came in the mail that I've been waiting for. So I just dropped off the car, or actually I just got it back, but I dropped off the car earlier to a paintless dent removal guy. He actually lived like 10 minutes away from me, so it was kind of like coincidence, but he removed all my dents, basically on all the sides. I have two on the trunk still, but I'm not worried about those. You'll find out that pretty soon enough on why I didn't remove those. But the main ones were the doors and the quarter panels, the fenders. I'm going to get a new front bumper that's going to get replaced. But yeah, it came out amazing. I will have some pictures for you to see on this video to compare to what it looks like right now. And if you want to see more detailed pictures, you can check out my Instagram and his Instagram to see those. But the main two were on this door and this door. You could see them walking up to the car, but now they're gone. Also, I got a new goodie, new surprise in this little envelope right here. I already opened it, but it is from Art of Attack. But I've been waiting for these for about two months. And I'm happy it's gonna give a little spice to the car, change a little bit. But if you guys don't know what they are already, let me take a look. Boom. Bulk racing, the red stickers to break up the black. All I need is a red Brambos now. Uh, let's just get a little look. It's gonna look so much better. Can't wait to put these on, so I'm gonna put these on right now. Basically, my wheels are ceramic coated, so what I'm gonna do is heat up the sticker, peel the other one off, do some tar and sap remover, get all the stickiness off, polish it so it's a good clean surface, and then put the new one on. I don't know about this one. I might not do this one, just because I don't know how hard it's gonna be put on. But, and I know those come from factory like this, and the ones they gave me were not like this, they didn't look like this. So, we'll see if I do those, but if anything, I'm for sure doing the red wheel sticker. So let's get started. So, heat gun, take it off, valve stem at the bottom and it goes on the right one. So heat gun, and I polished it, wiped it down with some throwback from Shine Supply, which is like basically isopropyl alcohol. And then I'm gonna get ready to apply the sticker now. Shouldn't be too hard. Just gotta do it right the first time because there is no going back and I'm not waiting two months again. All right guys, I got it on, but it looks absolutely terrible. So this is a test one, my first ever time doing it. So don't judge, it'll stay on there, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna put a layer of ceramic coating over it real quick, just cause that's where it was last time. And yeah, don't judge, I'm gonna do better on the last ones, the next three. <laughs> I promise this looks so bad. I feel like I'm shaming the wheels now. But I don't know if I'm gonna do the other one. Let me see if I can get it out. No, 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 not those. This. 
this is not the same as this. There's that one. It's like a badge. There's this one. So I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'm going to leave it, honestly. Just like that it looks pretty good to me. So not for these. We might in the future, but not right now. Number two. This one's way better. It's not stretched out. If you, <laughs> this is like so bad. I can't believe I did this. It stretched out a little bit because it, was, it wasn't hot. Like I pulled it back up and tried to put it back in the right spot. It didn't work. Don't pull on these. It'll stretch them. So it goes all the way down here now. It's not supposed to do that, I don't think. So yeah, we're just gonna leave it. We're never gonna touch it again. You're never gonna see the picture. It's just there for the red. Unless the picture's up close, but even then, it's okay. But this one is way better. Way flatter, not stretched. It comes closer to this side, just a little at the end right here. But like I said, you're never gonna see it on camera unless it's like a close up like this of the wheel, which I'm sure will happen sometimes, but it's okay. It's I'm not perfect. I first time doing these, I don't wrap or do anything with vinyl or stickers or anything because I suck at it. You can see why now, but yeah, it came out pretty good. I'm loving how it's making it pop now. It just, oh, I can't wait to see it on outside on all four. Well, all right, guys, I got all the stickers on before I do the reveal. Here's the old ones. It's kind of crazy that these are 140 bucks, but you know, authentic parts. And let's see how she looks. Sheesh, looks so good. By any means, like I said, I'm not a professional. The other three came out better than the first one. They were all pretty like flat and normal. They look normal. The only thing is they like kind of curve down to like, they're not centered perfectly. But like I said, you're really not gonna see them pictures unless it's super up close. Just for the contrast, the red, the look, this one's good. I put a little layer of ceramic coating on all of them. But yeah, I'm super happy. Gives it that, just that little, little breakup of the color. As soon as I have the red brakes, it would look amazing too. But yeah, this has been coming for a while. And before I end this vlog, it, this is just a quick vlog, little update vlog. I do want to tell you guys that the car is not going to look the same for long. I did order a bunch of parts and basically they're all back ordered. I have two parts, but I really can't put them on without the other parts. So I have to wait. It says they're gonna ship at the end of July, July 31st. So basically August, so I'll get them like mid-August, hopefully. But besides that, it's just a waiting game. I waited two months for these. Glad that's out of the way, you know. Can't wait to take some pictures, all that good stuff. But yeah, she's got a lot coming. It's just time, patience, I've just been chilling. And it just, every time I add something new, it makes me fall in love with the car all over again. All I really need left, to complete it would be center caps, the lug nuts I want, Skyvers STI actually has those. Shout out to him for letting me know which ones they are. So center cap, lug nuts, and then the red big brakes. That's really all I need left. And that's like the wheel setup complete. Or on a bigger tire, but that's not like necessity. More of a want, all of them are wants, but you guys know what I mean. Guys, here it is, your final look. How she's sitting right now. Definitely breaks up the black. It looks a little weird because I'm not used to it, but I definitely like it. So it's gonna take some getting used to. But yeah, I couldn't, couldn't be more happy, like I said. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like, subscribe, comment what you think of the new setup down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.